How you doing folks? This is Peter at the Shalom Peace and um, you know I was thinking for the last few videos that you know eating kosher doesn't mean you gotta stick strictly to you know uh, a, foods that are found in Israel. Um, it's just a matter of eating clean. So you know we're gonna follow those basic rules but it doesn't keep us from enjoying the flavors of the entire world. Um, in fact, um, the, I've been introduced now to Indian cooking for, I don't know, maybe the last few weeks, and my whole culinary world has changed uh, because of this. Um, the spices, there's many, many spices in these dishes. I don't always use, I've, in fact, I've never cooked a dish with more spices in it than these uh, masala dishes that I'm starting to cook now. Tonight, um, <clears throat> I didn't consult my uh, associates in, in India uh, tonight. This is a surprise dish for them uh, to let them know that I'm um, learning and I'm adapting and uh, I'm starting to use these flavors and, and you know, put them together in, in a lot of different ways. Here's a dish that we never spoke of before. Um, this is Rogan Josh, uh, it's a lamb basically a lamb stew, an Indian lamb stew, with a lot of incredible spices in it. Um, <clears throat> one of the first things you do with this dish is you get your ghee, which is a clarified butter, really, uh, and cinnamon, cardamom, and clove. And we're going to let that, uh, you know, uh, basically sear, saute in the ghee, the butter, uh, to get a nice base, get that butter flavored, then, something I didn't see in other consultations I do with videos and stuff is that I'm going to put the lamb directly in that uh, saute to get the uh, flavors into the meat, that, that first flavor, that underlying flavor. I'm gonna try and transfer that to the meat. So it's basically a braise, I'm gonna braise that. Then, once we get that started, uh, we're gonna use, of course, garlic, ginger, um, what is this? Cumin, nutmeg. Here is the signature masala that I received from India in a, in a large package. I elected to put fennel in it. So there's a, a bit of fennel in there and the signature masala. Turmeric, onions, uh, tomato puree, um, like basically tomato sauce, coriander, and then uh, about a cup and a half of chicken stock. So it's gonna be, like I said, a boil, like a stew. And then I'm gonna salt the flavor and uh, I'm gonna put the camera on the pan here just a little bit behind me the, on the stove. All right, so um, enjoy, this shouldn't take very long. It's a one pot dish really, all right. Okay, so we're here at the stove and um, what we have right now is our ghee and cinnamon with nutmeg in there. There's only a, few cloves of, uh, um, a few pieces of clove in here, three or four I think, one seed of cardamom, and of course the, the cinnamon. I'm gonna let that heat up and I'm also gonna talk to you a little bit about um, kosher cooking with meat and dairy. So the idea is, there's a oral law, a rabbinic law, that you never put dairy together with meat. But I remember the passage where Abraham meets the three men that come to meet him uh, in the tent when he's sitting in the entrance of his tent in the middle of the heat of the day, uh, Abraham's sitting there. And what does he serve them? He serves them lamb, cream, and, and uh, butter. Okay, so there's something wrong there. If we see the father of our faith, basically, um, you know, serving meat and dairy together, same time. I read the Torah, I read, I read it in Hebrew. It's definitely the same same time period. Um, and uh, we see that happening, yet we see a scripture, uh, let's see, I think it's Exodus uh, 34 and 27, said in two places in the book of Exodus only, it says, Lo um, tevashel gedi, uh, you shall not boil, you shall not seize a kid or a goat, uh, but chalev emma, so the milk of mother, okay? So, yes, you're not supposed to boil 
let's say you have the mom, and then you get the kid, and then you boil the kid in his mother's milk. This is an atrocity, right? So that's that's what the passage means, because in those days there was a certain deity, false deity, that uh, the people of those lands, they would make an offering. It smells good. Uh, the cardamom uh, cinnamon is fantastic with the clove. And uh, there would be, they would make an offering to their false god of a boiled kid in his mother's milk. It's, it's an absolute abomination, right? It's naturally, we know this is the wrong thing to do. But I also see the, the, the reference of Abraham. So I'm saying it can't be that we shouldn't be doing uh, dairy and, and meat. It means basically don't do this offering. It's an obvious offering. Everybody knew about it. Don't do it. So I'm going to add some onions in here. And I will be searing some, some lamb with this wonderful flavor in here. I'm not boiling, basically submerging a goat in its mother's milk, okay? So let's get past that. Um, there's obviously a reference in the scriptures where there is a combination of meat uh, lamb, in fact, and dairy. So I'm going to put this together because I want these flavors to get into the lamb. I want to sear this lamb. You guys can see this. Basically, I'm searing this lamb. So I'm getting some nice, crispy, roasted parts in it. It's not boiling a... Forget it, right? I'm gonna. Pretend, I don't want to be deep, beating a dead horse, do it? And we're using lamb anyway, so. <laughs> anyway, I want to get this thing, uh, these meats uh, browned. I didn't see this in any other uh, recipes to brown the meat first, but I think just from my culinary experience, my cooking experience, that you should sear the meat um, before you start this uh, stew. So. At least that's how I do all my Italian spaghetti, all those things. That's how you do it. You get a lot of that base flavor, that original flavor right into the meat itself. Okay, we don't have to go too far. I just want to get this to sear. Get a little brown on it. Kind of seal it, seal in the juices of the lamb by doing this also. So, this is why I wear gloves, guys. Okay? So now I've seared that in there and the, and the uh, juices are inside. All right. Um, from here, I'm going to go tomato because I'm going to want some liquid in there when I start adding these spices. Garlic, ginger, cumin, ground cumin. I'm not going to put too much cumin in there. I'm going to go uh, nutmeg. All of the instru all of the uh, ingredients are in the instructions in the video down below in the description. The signature masala with fennel. I did use a lot of that because I love a spicy dish. So I did two tablespoons of that big, big portion. Turmeric. All right. Let's get that incorporated. Okay. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this right now. Look what's happening. Basically, we have... I'm sorry about the shadows. I just don't have a, you know professional director here controlling light and uh, camera work and all that stuff, right? But I'm looking for volunteers. Okay, now we got that going. I'm gonna put some coriander in there. Good helping coriander. I always use more coriander than the recipes and things call for because I love the flavor. Um, I like the color in the dish. It brings everything together. All right, now, before they get too dry, we're gonna put our chicken stock in here. Okay. I'm gonna let that be, and we're gonna try and boil this down until, you probably reduce some of the liquid. And I'll bring that back to you when we get done. I'm gonna put a lid on it. What do we got here? Do I have a lid that, oops. Wrong lid. Put a lid on it, right? Okay, 
Uh, we'll be back when it uh, when this is done, and um, we'll take a look at how tender the lamb is. You're supposed to be able to get to a point where you've stewed this, and um, you can get a fork and, and pull these lamb pieces apart. You know, uh, kind of like a pulled meat or something. Okay, uh, shalom. See you in a little bit. Okay, guys, here we go. I have the Rogan Josh right here. See that? Beautiful masala lamb stew. And I got some um, basmati rice here. I'm just gonna go ahead and plate this up. Oh wait, I almost forgot. What do I have this beautiful dish here for? This is the uh, homemade curd or yogurt, you might say. And um, I made this personally because I want to learn how to do this cooking correctly. So this will help cool down some of the spices and uh, add a nice rich texture to it. I'm gonna do a lot because I'm so heavy on the spices. Just gonna blend it in a little bit. Probably should have done it when I was on the stove, but that's all right. See what's going on? Now, I have a nice masala stew to put right on the rice. The turmeric added a lot of color, a lot of yellow, and then the uh, cream just brought it up too. So I want to get some nice pieces of lamb on there. I don't want to skimp on anybody, right? You guys want your lamb. <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna go for it. Whammo! And Shazam. All right. That'll ruin that towel. Here we go. Rogan Josh. Enjoy, guys. See you soon.